Hey, Shalom Akim. How are you? Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Hashem, Makal Kadesh, Rakatam. The wonders and salutations to the elders and apostles and bishops of Great Moonstone, to the Akim Akwaks, try the four corners of the earth, holding on to the gospel of Lord Amashak, Yahweh Shai, in sincerity and truth and diligence of my Israel Amnasha, DC camp. Another sad day, you know, for uh, our people. When they get caught up in the uh, Esau system, you know, that uh, Babylon, man. Babylon has been a plague to our people. That's the reason why you need to have uh, a faith that is unmovable in the Lord Hamashak Yahushai by Yeah, because uh, that's the reason why these things keep happening. And it just shows you the uh, uh, the importance of uh, the Lord letting us know the value of uh, guarding your mind with the scriptures, man. You know, because, uh, you know, we've read several incidents in the scriptures where you have demons just uh, plaguing people. And the reason why these folks are not able to uh, combat these demons is because uh, they did not apply the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord was not uh, firmly rooted in their spirit. That's the reason why these people are bugging out because uh, their spirit has been uh, infiltrate, infiltrated, you know, by these demons, they've become a host to uh, the unclean spirits. That's the reason why, you know, they had this incident of this woman getting blasted by the cops. You know, when uh, a so-called, uh, what you call them, a uh, medical care provider had concerns about her, her mental health or whatever, her, her safety. Yeah, so it's just what happens. You know, that's a reason why you have to uh, fear the Lord. You know, when you fear the Lord, you know how bad things can get. And uh, you are willing to exercise the powerful option to protect yourself. All right. That's the reason why you have to uh, adhere to uh, to word of the Lord. So I get this uh, short precept. It says this, Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence. Alright? Keep thy heart with all diligence. Or that's your mind, your spirit, okay, lab. For out of it are the issues of life. So you have to protect your mindset. You know, you have to make sure it's built upon a solid foundation. When your faith is not uh, upon a, a solid foundation, you get easily, you know, overcome by... Uh, the demons of this world, man. Just like, you know, you know, apostles, you know, brothers, they talk about uh, folks just uh, have some negative uh, aura on them against you for just no valid reason. Someone that you never met, someone you never had a, uh, a physical or verbal altercation with, all of a sudden, you know, they have that uh, vibe of animosity. That's just the demons, man, plaguing that person. So it helps you to, to uh, figure out what's going on, man. And, uh, you know, you just have to be very careful. You know, that's the reason, you know, the apostles will talk about don't invite, you know, everyone into your house. So you have to uh, take that advice, you know, seriously, man, because it's so important. And, uh, you know, the apostles talk about... Uh, you know, sage in your house, cleanse your house, even the Zakoa Managan, DC camp, 
talks about you know brothers you know pray for your bayat your family and all that stuff that's that's a good uh, advice even years ago man we should have we used to have a list of topics we look into you know was listed on the list mental health and come to find out you know if we had dug in deeper some more it's about uh protecting the spirit protecting your mindset man you know protecting the the pillars of your faith yeah because when people get tied in to uh chasing after the desires in babylon they became you know they become uh drained and uh, swept up swallowed up when you get swallowed up by babylon this is the result yeah this is the result you see the the situation over there in uh in philly you know kensington and all the folks strung up on drugs you see the uh skid row that's the lowest <laughs> the lowest form of a so-called uh insanity that uh you can see a person you know fall into yeah so in the end in, in that sunken place so it's just the demons feasting on them that's the reason why you know she bugged out because she didn't have that hedge she didn't have that hedge you know of the lord i'm shy that's right um you know she was able to uh fall into that uh abyss you know that abyss of uh of turmoil and when you also read uh the book of matthew chapter 7 you know the 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 the, one, the man that built his house upon a rock and the one that built it upon the sand that's also a uh, kin to uh how you protect your uh your heart you know your your mindset you know as you go through this uh journey of captivity because a lot of our people man they just uh cave in they crack on that pressure of depression on that pressure of discrimination under pressure of her harassment by the system and then they get uh jacked up who knows what type of medication uh she was uh taken before all this happened you know who knows what uh, she was prescribed you know when she was a child and all that stuff you know did she uh lose custody of the children i've seen a I've seen a, a, a northern kingdom woman you know just descend into being a bug out man i'm like damn this is messed up yep one month in their life stage they look functional but after a while it just uh begins to show the level of craziness man you know that's why you have to be careful man you know in this world you're gonna have a level of craziness that you could manage all right it's just a ton in the flesh but when that craziness begins to dominate your life, man, before you know it, man, you know, you become a, a, a cesspool of uh, all these uh, unclean spirits, man. So you have to learn, you know, to uh, stand first in the Lord of Mashiach, Shai. Yeah, man. So uh, Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a man which built his house upon a rock and the rain descended and the floods came and the wind blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock so you could imagine man when persecution comes man a lot of folks in this world man claiming to be uh christians and the uh, israelites and all that stuff you have to deal with the test you have to go through that fire in the time of jacob's trouble a lot of our people man are gonna give up the ghost man they just give up the faith you know they're gonna become uh, a hot mess in the times of jacob's trouble so when you're prepared to deal with uh persecution man harassment attacks and all that stuff even the execution and you're still able to maintain your faith in the Lord Hamashiach, it shows that, uh, hey, that uh, you did what the Lord told you to do. 
You heard the word of the Lord and you prepared yourself. So when you prepare yourself accordingly, man, there's a limit to the number of losses you're going to be accumulating, man. You know, there's a, there's a limit number of losses you're going to be accumulating. Yeah, the losses you're going to, uh, you know, take will not be detrimental to your fate. <laughs> it's just be a chastening of the Lord. But those that cannot uh, go through that uh, chastening of the Lord, they just crumble. That's it. You know, they've been given over to uh, delusion. That spirit of delusion can be likened to, uh, you know, having a mental health breakdown. You know, that's exactly the, the spirit of Babylon, the spirit of delusion. You know, Babylon is basically uh, what you call uh, a delusional uh, paradise, you know, for the bug out of our people. So that's one thing you have to uh, watch yourself, man, you know, protect yourself at all costs. That's why it's important, you know, you, you understand the type of doctrine that you hold on to. So verse 26, Matthew 7, 26, And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Yeah, so it folds, man. So those that choose not to obey the word of the Lord and carry it out, they're going to fold in the times of Jacob's trouble, in the time of uh, temptation, man. The dark times of temptation, man. You know, folks just going to give up, take the MOTB, because uh, they gave up their faith in the Lord. They, they were not serious about uh, the testimony of the Lord Amashak Yahushai. When you're serious about the testimony of the Lord Amashak Yahushai, you know that uh, these words of prophecy come with uh, a requirement. And if you're not careful, man, you're going to get swept up. You know, you're going to get swallowed up by the serpent. And that's one thing the Lord doesn't want for his elect. That's why you have to be able to withstand the fiery darts of... Uh, of the enemy, all right. So I just get that quick prayer sip and wrap it up real quick, man, because there's certain things you know I need to handle. So I read it uh, real quick. Oh yeah. So Ephesians chapter six, uh, start from uh, verse fourteen. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Alright, so you have to protect yourself, man. You know, in life you have to have your defense on at all time. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Okay. So it's very necessary, you know, that you have uh, your tools ready, the proper doctrine to protect yourself. And when uh, people get stuck in Babylon for too long, man, this is the worst case scenario. They just become a mental basket, man. Okay. And then uh, verse 17, and take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit which is the word of Yahweh. So it's all about the word of the Lord that you have to hold on to, just like we read in uh, Matthew chapter 7, holding on, you know, to the word. You know, you heard the word of the Lord, Amashak Yahushai, and you decided to uh, perform it, hear and a doer. That's what uh, your end goal is, to be a doer of the word, not to hear it only, okay? So you have to be able to finish the stage. If you do not complete that stage, you're going to get uh, turned apart, man. Just like the scripture I was mentioning in this parable, that uh, the man began to build, but uh, he didn't finish and became a mockery. You know, so that's just what happens, man. So this is just a situation you have to uh, be aware of, man. You have to protect your spirit, man, you know. Hold on to the faith that the Lord has given you so that you do not uh, 
get swallowed up by uh, Babylon, man, because uh, that's a reason why, you know, the Lord said uh, this place shall be filled with unclean spirits. You know, that's the reason why the Lord said that. Yeah, it's the, Lord, the Lord said that for a particular reason. Yeah. That's what it is. That's just, just what it is, man. You know, yeah, I wish I had to uh, heal our people that were vexed with unclean spirits. So you can imagine, you know, the the struggles, man, that you have to deal with in this uh, truth to be on that path. So you do not get uh, torn, you know, by the wolves, man. So it's very, very important that uh, you accept the uh, the conditions of your salvation. So Revelation chapter eighteen, it says what? Um, some verse one. I'll stop at two. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heavens, heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird so this is just a reminder man you know this is just a reminder that uh, this is the direction that uh, Babylon is going to end up as man you know so you got to be uh, on guard man because these unclean spirits man they're waiting to pounce you know that's the reason why the, the jail cells are uh, are filled up because our people gave in to the uh, these unclean spirits, man. That's the reason why the Lord, you know, gave us His uh, commandments, so that you can protect your mind, your heart from uh, <laughs> these unclean spirits, man. And that's how Esau makes his money, his livelihood, by tapping into that energy of the unclean. So that's the point there, Akim. You know, this is a lesson I would like to go deep into, you know, but at the end of the day, man, you just have to uh, limit it, man, you know, just, uh, you know, have a brief introduction, and I can kind of take it on from there, because uh, this, is, this uh, you know, lesson, man, it's no joke, you know, you have to protect your mind with the proper doctrine, the proper wisdom, knowledge and understanding man because if you do not have those pillars in place your house is going to crumble you know scripture talks about uh, wisdom and knowledge and really stability of your times of our times of times of our persecution of our trials so if we're able to uh, to do that we'll be able to uh, come out victorious at the end you know the battle the business battle of the mind it's not a battle of the physical so you have to be willing to uh, to deal with the challenge. You know, you have to get this victory at all costs. So that's the point there. And I've already been edified and that Tawadeya Bashima Shah Bashima Kakadash Shalwam.